If we click on the second visit, we can enter in a different visit date. We can see that some of the data associated with the second visit is different than what is collected during the first visit. We can continue to add new events by clicking on the plus button. We can choose the program stage, which is the stages of this visit, as well as the ANC visit date. This allows us to add any number of ANC visits and associate them with the mother who is receiving these services. There are also some additional buttons that we can see in the data entry widget. If we select this first button, this will provide us with a legend indicating what the different colors mean in relation to the different events that appear. We can see that the first visit, which we have gone through the process of entering our data, is marked as completed. We can see that the second visit is still marked as open. This is because we have not completed this particular event. In the event that you have additional events scheduled or the event is overdue, they will be marked in green and red colors respectively. We can also view the audit history. This will show us any changes to the items within Tracker Capture. In this case, it shows us the initial values that have been entered. If I change one of these values, this will be logged in the audit log. We can also collapse this particular widget without removing it from the dashboard. Let's have a look at some of the other widgets that are available. In the profile widget, we can edit the profile. This allows us to change any of the registration details if required. We can also add relationships in DHIS2. For example, here we have a mother. Eventually, she will have a child. We could add a mother to child relationship in such an example. If we click on add, we can select the relationship type. In this example, we will add a mother to child relationship. We can then define who is the mother and who is the child. In order to select the child, we have to select a program. We can select the immunization program in this example. We can then select one of the children and associate them with their mother. After we click on this individual, we can then click on Save. This will save this relationship. If we click on this particular relationship, it will actually take us to that person's dashboard. If we have completed the services within this program, we can click on Complete. So note that there are two complete buttons and they represent different items. The first complete button is associated with a program stage. This is an individual event within the program. If we look at the antenatal care program, the mother will be coming back multiple times and receiving antenatal care services. We use the complete button in the data entry widget to indicate they have completed an individual event. At the top, we have an additional complete button. This is associated with the entire program. When the mother has completed all of her necessary antenatal care visits, we can click on complete at the top. This will complete her participation in this particular health program. Note that we can also deactivate this individual from the program. We can also mark this individual for follow-up if required. 
We also have an option to delete this person from the registration in this program. This does not delete the person, but just removes them from the antenatal care program. If we click on delete, it gives us a prompt. Are you sure you want to delete the selected enrollment? This will delete all events associated with this enrollment. We have to be careful here, as if we delete the enrollment, it will also delete all of the other associated data with this particular individual. At the top, we also have another red icon. Here we can manage the person. This allows us to both deactivate the person and delete the person. If we delete this person, it will completely remove this person from the DHIS2 system. So we also have to be mindful that there are multiple mechanisms to delete the different components of tracker programs within DHIS2. Let's go back to the tracker capture page. If we click on those with only an event today, we will now see that individual that we just registered. She will also appear in the list of registered entities. We just have to remember that if we are registering new individuals, we just quickly refresh the page and they will appear. We can see that this individual now appears in this particular program. 